Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to add the Google Analytics tracking code in WordPress without using any plugin. So I already written an article on this which we will be covering in this video. The things that we are going to see here is signing up for free Google Analytics account, get the Google Analytics tracking code, insert the Google Analytics tracking code in our WordPress header and refresh and test the real-time visitor on our Google Analytics program. If you're not aware what the Google Analytics is, the Google Analytics is a free program from anyone with a Google Analytics or Gmail ID can sign up and take benefit of this tool. So basically what Google Analytics helps in analyzing the user behavior as well as the traffic analysis to understand where the user is coming from, how the user is interacting with our website, what are the contents he's, uh, he has been visiting and uh, whether he has a first time visitor or he has been repeatedly visiting for multiple times. So those all information along with the technology like what device they are using, what browser they are using, all those informations can be seen in the Google Analytics. It's a free tool from Google and uh, it's amazing. I would recommend everyone to install this Google Analytics tracking code to understand the entire traffic and the user behavior on the blog. So let's get started with uh, signing up for the Google Analytics as well as getting the tracking code. I already have my demo site open. So let me quickly open analytics.google.com. You can even find this link in the this blog post. So once we are on the analytics.google.com website, it will ask us to sign up because currently our login Gmail ID doesn't have any Google Analytics account associated with it. So let's go and hit on this sign up button. It will ask the basic information like what account name you want and what the website name. Let me quickly fill this. So based on the what type of blog you are going to create, you can just select the type of the blog. So I would be selecting the computers and electronics. Reporting time zone, I would keep it as United States. Keep it Chicago time. So you can just leave this checkbox enable. If you want to disable, there is no issues. Just click on get the tracking ID. You need to accept the terms and condition. And also this GDPR. It basically tells about the how the data will be collected and what all policies that are applicable to Google would be applicable to you. So those all things just accept it. Once you accept it, you will get the tracking code. So it says that Google Analytics also has the mobile app. So you can just log in with the same user Gmail ID that you have logged in. You have created this account. So you can just access the same thing in the Android as well as iOS. So this is the tracking code that we need to insert in our demo site. So I have copied this one, navigated to my demo site, appearance, theme editor. In the theme editor, you have something called as header.php file. Just open that file. So before closing this head tag, so this head tag has been opened here and head tag is closed here. So before closing that, just insert this tracking snippet and uh, hit on save or update file so once it is updated just go quickly purge the cache visit the site so in order to see whether your tracking code is inserted or not you can just right click and view page source and in this you can see somewhere it would be yes here you can see the tracking code is visible which means the tracking code has been implemented now let's see in the real time report. So if I go to real time overview. So here you can see that uh, there is a one user from desktop and uh, it's on the home page which is nothing but myself. So if I navigate to the CND test. So there will be another hit coming soon. So there will be a delay of two, one or two seconds and uh, yes there is another hit coming in and the active page is cnd test which is nothing but myself so in this way you can get the google analytics tracking code as well as insert in your wordpress blog i hope this helps let me know guys if you have any questions thank you cheers have a great day